Hello, Bo, Frinton. This is amazing. We're doing the interview finally together. Good morning. Hello, Perry. Good morning. Hi. We have been planning this interview for a few weeks now, I think, or a few days. I don't know. But I think it's been hectic and chaotic in my head, and I had to cancel several times. Sorry for that, Bo. It's a, it's a bit of a mess That's sometimes no in my life. So when I look at you, oh no, first, an explanation on who you are. You are, of course, a multipotentialite. You are in the Netherlands like me. You're Dutch like me. And you sing. I have to look at my notes. You sing, you design living rooms, houses. Um, you do coaching, you help people. You have a casting agency. You are a photographer. Am I missing on something? No, there there are a few things more, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow they pop in. But yeah, I do different things, yeah. You do lots of different things. And you're, for me, a real multi-potentialite. You, you do so many interesting creative things, right? And yeah. uh, it's all, it all has to do with creativity. It all has to do with people as well, of course. Yeah, and yeah. I follow you for, for a little while now on social media. And what I noticed is you are able to manage everything. So I know quite a few multi-potentialites now. I've interviewed quite a few. I'm in contact with quite a few. It's, it's, it's fascinating. But we're all chaotic. We, we all have chaos in our heads. And we mm -hmm. all try to organize and manage everything well and some of them are able to have everything under control and now so i'm super excited for today i have one in front of me i believe you have everything under control though no not everything <laughs> no but i no 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 i i think it's not possible for a multi-potential to have everything under control uh, but it's uh, every day a priority for me to try to keep everything under control <laughs> and it's not <laughs> and it's not possible no. but uh, um, I noticed that structure is very important for me and that it gives me a lot of peace during the day so yeah that's why I try to um, not control, I really don't like that word, but uh, to have some kind of uh, structure or priority list. I, I always make a list in the morning and I mm -hmm. put three things on the list, not more, because I don't have to-do lists anymore. It made me crazy. Yeah. So it all, uh, always has three things on it. I have to choose in the morning. And those are my three priorities and everything else what I do on a day is extra. But that gives me the opportunity at the end of the day to be content with mm -hmm. what I did. Mm -hmm. So we have a glitch in the internet now. You're frozen. Okay, it's okay. Um, uh, okay. But tell me, tell me, you must have had the same struggle as we all have or had right? It's, it's never, yeah. I don't believe that, oh, I'm a multi, oh, let's create some structure and I'm fine. Because even though you can advise someone to have a top three list to start the day with, which I think it's very good advice, but um, it's, it's also your own struggle and your own process in order to make mm -hmm. those three starting points to be successful in your own life. So, Mm -hmm. how how was your own struggle you know when did you find out oh i need to do it in a different way or is this something you just found out or is this something you're doing already for the last decade or whatever well i i think i always uh, always did different things uh on a work level and i at first i liked that very much doing all things through each other and my head was always going like this and um, I think it started about 
eight years ago or 10 years ago that I uh, felt that I needed more structure and uh, I wanted to have more peace in my life. So I think 10 years ago, I was very ambitious and I wanted to build uh, big companies and be successful. And my ego was a bit bigger than it, than it is now. And um, yeah, how big was your year... ego, Bo? Bo, I love this. No, how big was your yeah. ego? You wanted to have your million euro company, and and no. what was your ego like? No, no, I think my ego was more like uh, my parents' ego or my father's ego. My father was very uh, ambitious too, and he learned as a child that you matter if you are successful. So he gave that through uh, to us as children. So for me, I was brought up with the idea I have to be successful. Yeah. And during the years, I found out that for me, successful is on a whole other level than it was for him. Yeah. And um, that was a process to, um, how do you say it, to let that go. And mm -hmm. find out for myself what uh, is being s successful for me. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think 10 years ago, I started um, more on a spiritual discovery and um, making more connection with who I am and what I think it's important and what I can do with all my multi talents. And then I found out being successful for me is being meaningful to people around me with all the talents that I have. So that yeah. really made a shift in, uh, in my mindset. And then I also find out that I don't want to do so much work every day because for example, my father, only slept for four hours a, a night really and i wow. yeah and the, and the rest was work so um i thought for me it's important to be in balance and uh do all uh different things on a work level but as a person uh try to stay in balance at all times so yeah, that really gave a shift in how I wanted to work and uh, my work. So yeah, that was a, a whole other process. It's a whole discovery as well. Being yeah. successful. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and your father today, what, you know, have you ever talked about this with your father? No, and he died in 2017. Yeah. And um, he was, uh, he had dementia, or how do you say it? Alzheimer's? Yeah, dementia, yeah, Alzheimer's, yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. So in the last period of his uh, life, we talked more with each other, but we had so... Uh, such different uh, conversations because he was on another um, awareness level. Uh, but I felt that we had more connection then than when he was clear in his head. So that was yeah. really strange. Wow. Uh, but the, the beautiful thing was that my father was an alcoholic. So that was very difficult when we were in the family. But when he died, then I really could see that he uh, had given me so much talent. Mm -hmm. So the last year, we spent a lot of time together. And previous, I always, um, how do I say it? I tried to protect myself, so I didn't see him that much. But in the last year, he really needed some care. Mm -hmm. So we had a very special year and then I found out, oh, wow, you're a very sensitive person too. And you're so gifted with different talents, but you yeah. have always been busy with making success and making yourself count. And I also felt sorry for him for that, 
um, and seeing or looking at him and seeing what his life uh, had been like uh, actually learned me that I wanted to do it differently. Yeah. So by not being there, he taught me a very important lesson uh, in how I want to make my life count for others. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, very yeah. much so. Yeah, and it yeah. really, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I can feel that. Wow, well. it's a deep conversation. No, it's yeah, <laughs> it's it's beautiful. And and but yeah. Oh my god. Now I have so many questions. Um so when you see we both know that we are surrounded with people that are really focused on their career and being successful. And as mm -hmm. a multipotentialite, I always you know, it, 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 which is fine, totally. But I look at that at, at a specific way because for myself, success is the exploration in life rather than the outcome. Mm -hmm. And But I do see a lot of people that are focused so much on success with a financial benefit and ego. Mm -hmm. But I see so many people that are not happy in that way. So mm -hmm. on, on, on the first side in their new Mercedes and, and big house and, and whatnot and going on holidays and taking pictures of themselves on, on Instagram with the champagne and look at me, which is fine, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it, and it's beautiful. And trust me, I've been there as well. But how do you, um, how do you feel and how do you look at that as a multipotentialite, as a coach, as, as, as Bo, as a person, knowing what you're knowing? Um, what does that do to you? Do you understand my question? Like, mm -hmm. you have such an amazing experience and you can really feel that in your inner, inner self. Mm -hmm. And then you have someone coming to your coaching session or, or a photo shoot or whatnot, and you see that and you know what you know. How do you deal with that? Um, well, first of all, I, I learned a really important lesson. I, um, I learned that uh, everyone has its own road to mm -hmm. travel on. Yeah. And when I was younger, I thought, and because I'm highly sensitive and then I sensed, oh, this person uh, should do this or that, that would be great for that person. And I would use to say it or advise someone else. And a few years ago, I did the uh, education of family. I don't know how you say it in English. Family opstellingen. Yeah. Family, yeah. family structure, family dynamics family dynamics how about that yeah yeah family yeah. dynamics yeah and uh that teacher told me that um i don't have to i had to mind my own business she learned all the people on the education mind your own business and then yeah. i thought yeah it's really mm -hmm. a good lesson because yeah. everyone has to make their own decisions and when they come and ask me for advice, yeah, of course, I can tell them uh, what I see or what I think would be good of, I, uh, I can make them a few suggestions so that they can make their own choice. Um, but it's really not up to me to uh, think uh, you should do this or What do you think about people who find success in material things or yeah they have their own path and if that makes them happy then that's okay and then that's i think they're path. yeah 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 and maybe but i understand this bo sorry for interrupting mm -hmm. but i, I totally mm -hmm. get this and I, I get the advice what do you do with your own feelings then when you see something like that you know mind your own business let it go fine you mm -hmm, know give, mm -hmm. give it give it a spot you know whatever but it still does something to your to yourself to your own emotions i can believe um 
how do you deal with that? I just try to inspire in a different way, I think. I do a lot of jogging, as you know. I call it running therapy because for me as a multipotential, it's very important, I discovered, to uh, get rid of the uh, extra energy I have during the day. Yeah. So um, a lot of times when I go running, um, I get clarity in my head. And then when I'm finished, I make a vlog or something. And sometimes I use examples of things that happened on a day or things that I've seen or people that I've met. And I just try to inspire in that way with yeah. how I look at things or sometimes I uh, work with uh, distinctions, so opposites. And that gives people also the space to think, ah, I, I'm more on this side or I'm more on that side and everything yeah. is okay. Yeah. So is, we've spoken before about the uh, nothing box. Mm -hmm. We laughed about that comedian in the States who made the difference between men and women and that men specifically are, have a nothing box, like they're in their nothing box and nothing is happening. Um, I have a theory. I've been asked in an interview, how do you deal with the mess in your head, right? And that's the same question I have for you as well, Bel, for this interview. How do we manage our own chaotic mind? How do we deal with that? You already gave us the example of doing three things, uh, you know, three activities to start the day with. Um, probably there are more things. Um, do we go, do we need to be in a nothing or an everything box where we disconnect from everything? For you, it's running. For me, it's walking with my dog for one or two hours a day. Um, someone asked me, if you walk the dog, then you're in your nothing box. And I was a bit um, offended by that, by saying, I don't have a nothing box. Because when I walk the dog, my brain keeps connecting and keeps thinking about a lot of things. So my question for you is when you're jogging, what's happening in your brain? When you jog, is there nothing or is there everything? There's everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do, do you we... hear me? Because the sound is different for me. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. When, when you jog oh. and, and everything is going, eh? and, and the same thing for me when I walk the dog for one and a half hour, there is not a moment of silence in my head in a positive way. So I can meditate and there can be complete silence in my head. Not a problem. But I love to think and make connections. So you do that as well while you're jogging and running and walking, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this the solution for multi-potentialites to be in control, to have a moment of time during the day where you can be in your everything box? And if it means running, walking on a bicycle, painting or whatever, you need that moment in time during the day where you disconnect and where you can connect yourself with everything. Mm -hmm. Is that the solution? Yeah. yeah, I think it's a combination of uh, all the aspects that uh, are important for being vital. So I think that vitality is a very important one. And uh, for me, it really works great if I go running because all the energy I have that normally goes through my brain, I can put that into running. And um, it makes like, um, you used to have a, a game for your money uh, where you could roll the money in and then you would have different things where it yeah. would drop in. So it really works in my mind like that. When I go uh, running, it, it gives me clarity and yeah that's a good thing but i really start a day uh, very 
very easy. So with my morning meditation and with yoga and so in the morning and normally when I um, haven't opened my eyes yet, the thoughts already go like this. Mm -hmm. And normally, the first thing, I would check my mobile, uh, would uh, get in shower, do my thing, get uh, after the laptop. And yeah, and uh, years ago when um, I was in India for a yoga meditation education, there I was four days, uh, four weeks, sorry, every day, six hours, seven hours in meditation, in yoga, doing the breath work. And then I found, okay, but I can make a completely different structure in my day. And I noticed, in, especially in the last week, uh, what it did for me and that I uh, became more uh, quiet as a person and that I became more clear in my head. And um, yeah, when I came back to Holland, um, I started running also. So for me, it's really the combination about relaxation, um, the running, good food. Um, yeah, it it's really has to do with uh, vitality, I think. Being yeah. vital as a person and being in balance, that makes my head in balance too. So. So it's not, so we always say, you know, I'm very structured as well, even though I'm, I'm chaotic. I found out I created structure for myself without being aware of it. I was doing the same things every day at the same time without being aware of that. And then at some point I wrote everything down. I was like, oh, but that's my structure, right? But I believe that we need that structure, but it's not structure by itself. So mm -hmm. if... If not everything is structured and there is only the structure of the list of three things to start with, it's not going to work. So the structure is and running and eating healthy and meditating and doing this and doing that. So structure means for multipotentialites also, again, in a multipotentialite way, that it's not just the structure that is the structure. The structure is everything combined yeah. and connected and create that balance i used to i used to drink a lot i used to drink half a bottle of wine a day at least cocktails i used to smoke i used to do everything that wasn't allowed and when i stopped doing that it's cliche but it's true you know everything opened up and and i was using the wine also to to relax you know to stop thinking I used to smoke weed as well. You know, it was fantastic. Your brain stops thinking. Everything stops and woo, cool. But it's not working that way, right? And then you become very healthy. I'm a vegan now. I don't drink alcohol anymore. I don't smoke anymore. I exercise every day. Wow, it's amazing. And that's mm -hmm. structure as well in a different way. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Yeah. 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 And for me, for example, uh, I don't like it when every day is the same. No. So I really like structure, but I, I don't like it if it's every day the same structure. So for yeah. running, I go running every other day. And uh, also with, with the meditation and the yoga. Sometimes I begin with the yoga. Sometimes I begin with the meditation. So sure. it's yeah. also how you feel about it. And uh, yeah, but for also for, um, for food, for example, um, years ago when I was really uh, busy in my head, I could have these cravings mm -hmm. that I really started eating a lot just to, have the sugars running through my body and, and getting me... Uh, go, 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 go. No, right? no. For me, the sugars really made me very... Just like oh, alcohol really? for you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's and I really down. Get, yeah. got sleepy when I uh, was in my sugar high and then my sugar low. Hmm. And, and yeah. now, um, I, of course, uh, sometimes I, uh, I still have my 
cravings, but it's on a whole lower uh, level. And uh, I, I really like them when I do it now. <laughs> yeah. I do it in the weekends. Yeah. But during the week, uh, yeah, I, I also have more balance in how I eat and when I eat. And yeah, it's, it's all the, the total package of um, how you do that. The whole structure. And, and I can imagine now that maybe someone is watching our talking together, our interview and is a multipotentialite and is thinking, oh my God, that sounds so lovely. You know, it's impossible for my life, but I'm so happy you guys figured it out. What kind of advice would you give them? You know, because I know a lot of abilities that are not there. This is, I'm not saying it, it, it the correct way because then it sounds not nice. I mean, a lot of abilities are searching for their structure that works for them what what kind of advice would you like to give to them you know this is this is working out for you very well though and um it looks fantastic what the things that you're doing and the person as you are you know a lot of respect for you what is what is the advice you would like to give to people that are watching us and thinking well that sounds good i would to like I to do that as well yeah yeah, I think you really have to um, plug in with yourself and connect with yourself and feel what works for you. Uh, for me, I read the book, um, The Miracle Morning. And that was really a start for me to give the mornings uh, a great start. And it really makes the difference for me now in uh, one day or another day. So that as a starter um yeah. and then for the rest of the day yeah you really have to find out for yourself what works so just as you said earlier maybe you can write it down for yourself and try for a whole week all different kinds of structure and then find out by doing that what works the best for you so sometimes yeah. I really had to learn, for instance, um, when I'm the most productive or when I'm the most creative or uh, when I have the most energy. So for instance, for the running, um, at first I thought, well, I really have to get to work uh, after I did my meditation and things like that. And then, uh, after I've worked for a whole day, then I do the running. Yeah. And uh, it, it's not it's been so long ago that we were in Milan, uh, an island of the Netherlands. And uh, there we went uh, running every morning at seven o'clock. And then I found out, no, it really works better for me if I do the running in the morning become because then i have more peace in my head and then the rest of the day is much easier and much yeah. clearer for me so then i yeah. turn it around and um i think it's all about that giving yourself the space to find out what works and uh if you are creative extra creative in the morning plan your creative stuff in the morning if yep. you really have to be productive and you're uh, an evening person keep your production things for the evening for instance yeah. so yeah. what kind of type are you and what works when you have to do things on different moments on a day what works best for you and that's different for everyone agree and i think it all always comes down to the same thing is figure out who you are and what you need also yeah. talk to your unaware self person that is just being an automatic pilot without being aware of that try to mm -hmm. figure out why and how that's happening yeah. and and that I allows you to create a, a very interesting structure yeah yeah I think as a multipotential, everyone knows that when the morning starts, 
you have a lot of ideas and you want to do all different things. Um, and I think it's so important to be uh, quiet in the morning and yeah. have a quiet start so you can really uh, connect and get aligned and listen to what's important for you on that day. And sometimes it's not getting to work and do your thing right away, but it's really thinking in what do I want to do today or what's the meaning of this day. And that's a completely different way of starting up a day than just go to work and go in the flow with all the things you have in your mind. Yeah. 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 I, when I wake up, I get my laptop or my phone and I notice that sometimes within the first half hour of the day, I do more than what I do the rest of the day. You know, my brain is like, go so fast. And then it's, it, I can send 15 emails in half an hour time and organize everything. And, and that gives me a good feeling. And then I put it away. I'm like, okay, I'm in control for today. Yeah. Let's take a shower, you know, and then yeah. under the shower, I get other ideas of course and then i get the coffee i walk the dog and then everything is slowly and then it's starting up but sometimes yeah i i can do things with without really getting out of bed and doing so many things on my phone already in a positive way and eh? not yeah. frustrated or not in a wrong in it's in a very nice flow it's really connecting the dots so fast and and writing fast and bum 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 and it's done it's, for me, that's the perfect way to start the day. First yeah. half an hour of going and then slow down again. Yeah, yeah. but that's, cool. that's what I mean. Sometimes you have days you wake up uh, or you haven't woken up yet, but then you feel, oh, I have clarity. And, and then you really must go sit on a table, work things out. And uh, yeah, then it just flows like it flows. Yeah. And on other days you wake up and you have some kind of blurriness in your head because you want to do everything all at the same time. And it's not working. Yeah. Yeah. And those days I found for myself that it's very good to say, no, we're not doing this uh, no. in the morning. Just go with the easy flow, get connected uh, with, what you want to do, what's important for you and people around you. And then I can really find peace in that. So I love it. I think this is a fantastic way to end our conversation on this first interview bell. And uh, hopefully, you know, I will, I will meet you in real life and with the camera and we will continue our conversation and make even more fun recordings. Um, I will, I will ask you when we stop the recording to uh, share some contact information for me that I can put underneath the video so people can contact you like, oh, I want to meet Bo or I want to talk to her. I want to be, uh, I want her to be my coach or whatever. I will put that underneath the video. Thank you so much. You're really an inspiration for me. Thank and, you. Um, I love it. Thank you for this interview, Bo. Thank you You're so welcome. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>